Hey, this is Eddie Hill, and I want to show you how to make the uh, compound path wedding ring from Lesson 7 in my Adobe Illustrator class. Let's go to Illustrator here. I'm going to start with an ellipse that I think looks like the right shape to be my ring. Then I'm going to, that's a red ellipse. I'm going to draw another ellipse in here that I think describes the, uh, the hollow part of my wedding ring. I am going to adjust, let's make that uh, white. I'm going to adjust this outer ring, I don't like it. There, now I think that looks like a wedding ring. I'm going to fill this ellipse with a gradient. It's going to be, um, I started working on this already. It's going to be uh, yellow on its lightest side and sort of a dark golden on its darkest side. I'm going to use my gradient tool to reverse the direction of it so the light is coming from the right side. So that's kind of a wedding ringish color, but it's not truly um, transparent, right? Send this to back. That's not transparent. So I have to make the center part truly transparent. I select both halves, both parts, the inner part and the outer ring. I go to Object Compound Path. Make. Ah, now it's transparent. So that's kind of neat. I need to make this... Uh, the inner part of the ring or the back part of the ring. I am going to use the ellipse tool again. I'm going to make an ellipse that's exactly the same size as the uh, center of my ring. In fact, I kind of wish I would have copied it before I started, but I forgot to. I'm using my trick where I hold the space bar to um, move this ellipse down as I draw it. So there, this empty space right here sort of describes the back of my ring. How do I make it real though? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this lower ellipse, I'm going to grab this bottom anchor point and pull it up and hide it right in there. And then these direction handles here, I'm going to break those. Don't just turn them, but hold the option key, snap, break them, move it up there. I don't want to change this part of the ellipse because it's perfectly elliptical. So I'm going to hold the option key and break this handle again. Pull it up here so my ellipse is going to hide back there. I am going to reverse the direction of that gradient so that it looks like it's looks like it's on the inside. So now it'll be in shadow over here and in light over here. And then I just send it to back. Shift command, left bracket, sends it to back. I gotta send this to back also. And there's my see-through ring. And that little crescent shape there started out life as an ellipse and then I changed it so that it could hide behind the outer part of the ring. The shadow from my handout is pretty low tech. It's just a, a gray ellipse. So I draw an ellipse in here. Make it light gray and send it to back. Then to describe the white area where the, the light is shining on the inside of my ring, I um, just drew another ellipse, filled that one white. This one I'm going to send backward, command left bracket, until it goes back behind my shapes. So there, there's my, there's my shadow. If it offends you that it's not see-through, which it's not, well, I could um, select both parts of this and go to object compound path and also make that see-through. It's a little extra credit for you here. It's kind of funky that the shadow doesn't cast itself on that gray shape. I would select that shadow then. Go to my transparency panel over here and change the blending mode to multiply. And then it will, that shadow will just make everything under it darker. So there you go. Uh, the compound path wedding ring. I just noticed one thing. It should have a thin stroke on it that is, um, that is also golden. Yes, it should. So I'm going to tell it to be 100% uh, yellow, yeah, 50% black, a little bit of magenta in there. And I'm going to tell it to be very thin. I'm going to tell it to be half a, half a stroke, half a, point, half a point wide. A little stroke on there. Now it looks exactly like the handout. Thanks for watching.